Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Almost a year ago I published a video about a SATA heat pump dryer and uh, for some reason it is until today one of the most watched videos on my channel. I'm really humbled but with the uh, amount of um, viewers that watching that video, uh, there were a, a lot of questions asked about uh, common faults and functionality and little hiccups that uh, people experienced. And I promised a couple of uh, people to post common faults and also tips and tricks what I do to make that um, very budget dryer work better than my previous Samsung one. So if you didn't see my comparison video about uh, Samsung versus Asata, I put link uh, above. Uh, but in my books, um, to be honest, I paid for uh, Samsung heat pump dryer a long time ago. I think it was five, six years ago, around sixteen hundred dollars, and Asata, I think less than six hundred dollars. That is one thousand dollars worth of savings. And um, while Samsung feels like better device, it's really nice and menu and uh, all buttons kind of feel better pressing. But essential function, what we want from a dryer, it actually save electricity and dry our clothes uh, well without damaging them. I would say uh, a SATA probably works a little bit better for me. It, it is less sensitive to... Um, things like for example if you overload the dryer or underload the dryer or conditions not right or a little hiccup in the, in the power uh, grid I don't know what it is Samsung felt a little bit um, more sensitive when a SATA just works and works fine um, from electricity perspective I did not notice any difference um, I think it dries better so first question people asking me um, if uh, clothes need to be ironed after drying in, in a dryer. To be honest, um, I did not notice any difference between Samsung and the SATA. And yes, uh, most of the time, clothes need to be ironed even if you put anti-crease function. What anti-crease function does is when cycle finish, it would gently tumble it. So it's kind of un unclog it together but it doesn't mean that uh, clothes that doesn't need to be ironed it's much better than without that function but still i'm ironing my clothes the second question was about fault many users notice uh, uh, that sometimes uh, at the end of the well now i can say it's at the end of the uh, drying uh, it throws fault with anti-crease i think uh, full and filter or just filter and full and uh, it hints people that filter is full and need to be cleaned. Um, I think it's some sort of software bug because most of the time when that error is thrown, it actually finished drying. And instead of uh, reporting on the finishing drying, it throws the fault. Um, I do clean filter after every single dry, both filters. So there's one filter inside the drum and other filter, I'll show you what I do. It's uh, kind of catching whatever the first filter couldn't catch. The second filter uh, is right there. It is important to clean those filters. And reason for that, because this dryer is kind of reverse air conditioner. Um, and as you can see here, uh, you will see that there's a heat sink in here that all the dust that if you don't clean, getting sucked in. Um, Almost guarantee you, if you don't clean that heat sink when it's getting clogged, your dryer either won't perform or will break down. So uh, my first tip would be, when you finish uh, drying cycle, any drying cycle, empty this filter, uh, empty inside this filter, and also, I'm not sure what kind of vacuum cleaner you guys are using, but I use uh, Dyson. And Dyson has an attachment that looks like this. What's really good about this attachment, you could gently um, scrub while your vacuum attach all the dust down. So if you move it from side to side, 
you damage those sensitive things on the radiator or, or heatsink. If you kind of deploy vacuum cleaner and gently brush it down, actually it cleans the things and uh, it's easy, relatively easy to clean it. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of dust on the heatsink, but mind you, I'm doing my drying on a weekly basis. I almost don't hang my clothes outside. And after a year of use, um, it's actually in quite good condition. So I'd suggest if you would like to prolong life of your uh, uh, heat pump of any brand, uh, that's the place to clean for sure. And, you know, uh, skimping off um, clean filters is really a bad idea in general. So my first tip how to clean, uh, one fil filter here, clean inside. One filter here that uh, stuck in, clean inside the filter. And when you finish, also take your time and probably with, if you don't have a Dyson vacuum cleaner, um, with gentle brush, brush it down and then sweep. Do not move from side to side because if you damage those things, you're reducing uh, thermal exchange ability of the heat pump and it will stop working as advertised. So that's about cleaning. Another question people asking how um, I drain my water. So if you don't do anything, by default, there's a tray and water get collected there. It wasn't good enough for me. And I created already a video uh, how I hook up um, uh, the tube that come in behind to drain my water. That was in the previous house. I moved and in my new house, as you can see, there is no uh, room. Uh, to squeeze that uh, uh, tube. So what I do, I just uh, put it down in the sink and let it drain as it uh, as it goes. Just make sure that, um, hold on, I'll just show behind. Make sure that that loop goes up and then down because it's designed to actually go up. And if it doesn't go up, it will malfunction. So that loop hook up on the top of the dryer and bring down and just throw it in your sink and that would be it. So, um, other tips and tricks, there's none. The dry is really straightforward to use and I hope you're enjoying it. If you would like me to create any other videos about um, tips and tricks about the dryer and my general reviews, I will. But for now, after a year of use, I would highly recommend this budget dryer for everyone on budget or not on budget. Look guys, it's really uh, surprisingly good quality device um, that doesn't feel premium, but does really premium job and drying clothes. And I'm, uh, after a year of usage, I'm really happy with it. Hope it helps. Um, keep tuning my channel for other tips and tricks. For now, goodbye. Until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia.